<laughs> so nobody's moderating us. No, we're just talking. We're just talking. Ooh. We're talking about um, Douglas, yes. libraries, literacy. literacy, and liberation. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> I am impressed with what I've only recently discovered, which was that this country is unique in the world in terms of the distribution of libraries throughout the country. Uh, you cannot go in rural areas in Europe or in Africa or in Asia, rural areas and find libraries the way you can here, every little town. You know, I was in jail in New York. I don't know, did you mention that I was in jail? Okay. Okay, some people don't know. <laughs> and one of the first places I went, I was able to go in the jail, was the library. And I didn't see very many interesting books uh, <laughs> there. So what I did was I had people send books to me while I was there, and I wanted to share those books with all of the other women. There were something like a thousand women there. And I was not allowed to do that. As a matter of fact, in the library, there was a big cardboard box. You could receive the books. I could receive the books, and I could read the books myself. It was okay mm -hmm. yeah. for me to read them. But don't share them. With but them. don't share them. Uh -huh. And one of them was uh, George Jackson's book. Oh, yeah. Uh, Soledad that, Brothers. Yeah, that Soledad. was uh, not allowed at all. Oh, yeah. Although, <laughs> you know, one of the things I learned um, when I was in jail there was, you know, how to uh, secrete <laughs> certain kinds of things. <laughs> and so we were able to... <laughs> so we had these clandestine reading groups <laughs> with books that were smuggled out of that uh. box in the library. Uh, and it kind of reminded me of Frederick Douglass and Frederick Douglass's oh, yeah. effort to uh, get an education, to learn how to read, and, mm -hmm. and, and his idea that um, education really was liberation. I mean, he, he describes this painstaking process of learning. He says at one point he dares the, a, 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 a white boy who was around to prove that he could write better than Frederick Douglass himself could. Now, Frederick Douglass really didn't know how to write that much, uh, so the white boy could write a lot more, and in the process, he learns what the white boy was writing. Uh, when, when the prisons get out, they get no... They owe. They owe money, oh, because... Prison. Yeah, because they have to pay, they have to pay for their own room and board. Right. Yeah. They're in college. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And yeah, it's just, just like the students, it's right? right. <laughs> Room and board. You get out and you have this bill. If your family can't pay, you <laughs> not only have you paid your in time for whatever. But I was interested in your in your book because I'm not sure I understand fully that separation. Well, that's not well. The implication is that there's a difference. Well, there is a difference between vengeance and justice. We have to assume that if we want justice for some bad activity by a bad person, we want punishment, we want restraint, we don't want rehabilitation. And that assumes that there is something called the other, there's a stranger, that your neighbor or the criminal, the so-called criminal, is some other thing. 